Decatur's public schools now at the center of a sexual assault lawsuit filed by the parents of an 11 year old boy suing not only the district but a teacher accused of the crimes. Good afternoon. I'm Mitchell Reif. Thanks for joining us here at noon. We're talking about Ali Bardfield, a former long term substitute teacher. She was charged with criminal sexual assault, which happened back in April. She had intercourse with a sixth grade student at Hope Academy. The family feels the district is at fault that they didn't do enough to prevent it. Jack Crum has the latest. The complaint listed by the family and the Chicago-based lawyers at Cunningham and Lopez is 25 pages of grounds for a lawsuit. This includes a full timeline of events, new details, and a full explanation of all 12 counts the plaintiffs and their attorneys plan on pursuing. The basis of the lawsuit alleges the Decatur Board of Education violated Aaron's law. This requires school employees to be trained in preventing sexual assault. The lawsuit claims that 34-year-old Allie Bardfield, the teacher accused of sexually assaulting the 6th grade student referred to as John Doe, did not receive training when the district hired her in October of 2023. Part of the lawsuit reads, Defendant Bardfield never completed any training prior to and subsequent to her hiring at Hope Academy, including training on adult sexual misconduct, ethics on sexual misconduct, recognizing and reporting child abuse, and Title IX training. The lawsuit also details new facts surrounding the encounters. It explains defendant Barfield gave her personal number to another student. John Doe then received the number from his classmate. Bartfield supposedly hosted multiple, quote, playdates at her house in 2023. The lawsuit also says after two sexual encounters at her home, Bartfield went through the victim's phone in her temporary classroom to delete TikTok messages between them while he was at recess. The lawsuit reads, since the relationship ended, the student has undergone psychological treatment. It says, quote, plaintiff suffered and continues to suffer, including without limitation, severe and permanent psychological and emotional distress, physical manifestations of the aforesaid emotional distress, and diminished ability to enjoy his life, and is thus entitled to an award of monetary damages from the defendants. It also says, quote, the plaintiff seek to squash this outbreak of malfeasance by the defendant before it turns pandemic. WCIA did reach out to Decatur Public Schools for comment, but have not heard back yet. We do have details of what exactly happened between John Doe and Bardfield during the sexual encounters on our website, WCIA.com.